so it's going to be about the um, how certificates work, uh, especially for HTTP connection. Uh, we use it every day, pretty much, to uh, contact the, the bank account or just to get our emails. But uh, how it's working, it's for everybody, it's not clear uh, how the, the mechanism between uh, the, the workstation, the, 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 the browser, and uh, the server. Uh, I extract it because I already g gave this uh, training for uh, uh, Apache training to how to set up your uh, Apache server with uh, SSL. So it's an extraction from this course. Uh, everything is available in French, like I said, uh, on uh, GitHub. So you, I think you probably already have the, uh, the URL, but I can give it to you uh, after. Uh, so how certificates work uh, and what is the purpose for, for the certificate? So it gives you the confidentiality. So it's because our communication is crypt. Uh, between both uh, sides from the client and the server. So if someone is between, he is unable to encrypt the data. Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. uh, it's give you the, the possibility to uh, authenticate a user uh, because here we use a certificate between browser and server, but you can use a certificate to authenticate a user too. So, uh, you can use the certificate as a user password, but it's your certificate to, to, to perform this operation. Uh, it's give you the integrity of uh, the message because there you have few check when it's script to, to be sure it's a, it's a real it's the real data uh, coming to uh, the wire. And I really don't know how to say in English. It's a uh, non repudiation. Uh, it's uh, when you use a certificate, you can use it for crypt data, but you can use it to uh, sign a document. Uh, an example, uh, the notary uh, here uh, in Quebec, they sign all document with a certificate. So, and because they sign with their own certificate, he can say, oh no, it was not me whatever if it's the secretary signed the document, but it doesn't matter. It's have the same value than a real hand signature. That's good. Uh, signature. That's good. So that's why we said it's uh, in French uh, non repudiation, because you can they have they, this is have a legal value. Uh, I know uh, architect to uh, the signed document with a certificate and it's uh, in Quebec they don't have a uh, a real legislation for that, but around the world, uh, in France, uh, especially, and I know in the United States, uh, the uh, uh, numeric signing document are more, more, more growing actually. So that's why we say it's a non-repudiation. So, so that's the advantage and why we can use uh, a certificate. But how it's work? A uh, certificate is a uh, uh, asymmetric. <laughs> <laughs> asymmetric. Uh, okay, you have two kind of cryptographic. You have symmetric and asymmetric. Okay, okay, cool. So uh, I was not sure about the asymmetric. No? Uh, so the, the symmetric key uh, there. So if in this example, and uh, want to send a encrypted message to Bob, if we use symmetric cryptography and use key A, and Bob no, need to, to know what is the key, so they use the same key. That's when we use it, for uh, example, for a key pass. Uh, I, we use a cryptographic document, but we know all the same password. So we don't really know who changed the document, we, but we need to know uh, all the, the, the same password. In asymmetric cryptographic, uh, I'm going to put the second example. If Bob wants to send a message to Anne, 
he use the the public key the the key a the public key section and and is unable to uh, but can encrypt the document with his pr her private key okay so that's it's every time like that the public key is public so everybody know and can have this key and you use it to send it the message and only the private key is capable to uh, en en encrypt the document decrypt uh, to view the data uh, and clear things this both key come from the same source and they work together if you lose one off if you lose the private key you're pretty much fucked you need to create a new one if you lose a public key maybe you can ask to someone else uh, can you send me back my public key or you lost it so it's gonna be okay it can be okay but uh, and you can't regenerate one of them they need to be together In the first example here, we saw Anne use her private key to crypt the message, and Bob and Dylan, with the public key, is able to decrypt the content. Okay, Pre that's pre no, pretty much not secure because everybody with the public key have the, the, is never able to encrypt, but this mechanism is used to sign document. So you are sure only Anne with her private key is able to sign the document. And when I say sign the document, it can be sign an email, PDF, or whatever. So that's, here you are sure it's really Anne and nobody else, or someone else with the private key, of course, but uh, you are supposed to protect this private key. Question? Okay, so if we come back with uh, our uh, HTTPS protocol, because uh, it's more the purpose here, the public key is the public certificate of the website, and the private key is the private key you install on the Apache server. Okay, so and uh, we have many uh, kind of certificate, but uh, for a web purpose and uh, the, the common use it's uh, x509 and because we only talked about um, private public key to crypt the data but the, the certificate have few other information contained in the uh, RFC defined the x09 and, and you have the version uh, serial number of course uh, you can ha only have this certificate is validate for a short time, not before, not after. So you have only a short time. Uh, and maybe other information can be contained in it. Okay. So if I'm looking, uh, example, the uh, Free Software Foundation, he use uh, HTTPS. So we can have to certificate uh, the issuer is Gandhi and view certificate and like I said that's the public key the issuer uh, period of validity over there and all the information contained here cool Not gonna. Yeah. Do you want to have some certificate? Uh, generate a certificate, or you are okay with that? Okay. Perfect. So it's just the, the command to, to create a self sign. And here, I just I want to show it's uh, about the uh, the information contained in the certificate. Uh, and you can use the text to, to see the data directly. In the what is important, it's uh, the FQDM. The certificate is assigned to uh, one um, URL. Uh, 
but you can have a, a wild card and they have an extension, it's called SAN you can have few uh, FQDN in the same um, certificate uh, but uh, it's, I think it's 5 or 10 you can have and of course the price is not the same uh, the price for one domain is uh, I don't remember the price but it's a uh, maybe 20 bucks I don't remember wire card is way really more expensive and with sand it's a between of course okay. <coughs> if we look uh, a full a certificate it's you got two parts it's the so the public key you have here in this example is for xeris.com uh, and you have another part is for the issuer to sign the, the certificate to uh, validate you are really the the, uh, the, the person who owned the, the website uh, so that is a real certificate with the public key and with a digital uh, signature by the issuer we need to have both to have a, a good certificate if you don't have the, the issuer you're going to have a warning to say we can uh, a no issuer oh yeah I can show you have to trust the issuer uh, yeah if I go to uh, ok not this yeah that's not fun. Uh, I don't know what to do, to pull, but uh, I, I, I already accept Con connection is not secure because he don't know the, the issuer because the issuer is myself, it's a self sign. Uh, but it, the data between your computer and the server will be crypt. So, but you are not sure you are talking to the right person because anybody can create a fake Facebook page and if the issuer is not trust uh, you can you are not sure you are communicate with the good server that's the I'm gonna come back about this part soon but uh, I just want to show the, the global part uh, of a certificate okay but when I'm talking about asymmetric cryptography I said, let's come back here. Okay. I need to use the public key of Anne. Bob need to use the public key of Anne to send cryptographic message. Okay. But we all have in mind when my laptop send data to the server, it's script, and when the server answer me, it's script too. Okay. But in this situation, my laptop don't have any certificate available. So how the server is able to send me data encrypted, and I'm only able to encrypt that. Okay, so we are, I have a, a, a problem here. Here is the protocol of uh, the HTTPS protocol. So the, the blue part is only the TCP connection to establish. And uh, the client, I say hello, and he specifies which SSL protocol is enabled to communicate. So uh, maybe it's only in, in able to communicate SSL v3, and so all uh, this, uh, this part. Uh, session ID, uh, cipher they can use to, to communicate. The server receive that and check his in uh, own uh, SSL protocol to, to find a match to, to have the more secure uh, possible, of course. And he answer to the server to the client, say, okay, we're gonna use a TLS uh, 1.0 and DOS cipher to communicate. So they, they establish, they negotiate the SSL version and uh, all information. And after that, the client will send a master key encrypted with the server certificate. Okay. Then the communication after that will be a symmetric cryptography because the client said, okay, use this password. 
the, 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 the information about the, the password was sent uh, securely because it's crypt with the, the public key of the server, then all this part, all the rest of the communication will be with a symmetric communication. That's why my laptop don't need a certificate to crypt data. Okay? Of course, like we saw just over there, it's possible to have a uh, to it's possible to install a certificate on the client and have symmetric cryptography on both sites. On both sites, but uh, it's um, the load average. It's it takes more CPU to process asymmetric than symmetric communication. That's why, if you have a uh, very high, um, if many people go to your server, it's going to take more, more, more CPU and uh, RAM, of course. That's why we use the symmetric communication. Cool. Uh, another version of the same sh thing. That thing. And I'll do that. I explain. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna come back about the. Uh, ah, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll do it. Uh, like I said, in the process, they're going to use, uh, they're going to validate the certificate with uh, a third party, just to be sure it's really the good one. And you're going to use on your server, on your um, browser, advanced view certificate, you have a, a list of authority they sign your document, uh, your, your certificate, and thus trust your, your, the, the certificate. And you can hide by yourself. Here, for example, uh, here it's uh, an authority I had for one of my servers. So you can clean up if you don't trust anymore the, does, uh, this wes website or your certificate authority. Of course, uh, you have another part because if you install a certificate on your Apache server and someone hack your server, if you discover the, this problem, your, if he steal the public key and the private key, especially your private key, you don't want to use this information and install his own server and fake yourself. Okay, but. This two key, you he already have it. So you have a, a certificate revocation list. You're gonna communicate with a VeriSign or whatever your issuer to say, okay, this certificate, I don't trust it anymore. So uh, cancel the, uh, this uh, validation. So when your browser get this certificate, every time you look at outside in the revocation list, if it's still trusted. Uh, that's the uh, here uh, uh, is for DigiCert and it gives you an URL, URL to uh, to communicate. So it's included in the certificate. Uh, the new method mechanism used it's OCSP uh, because the problem with the uh, CRL it's uh, a flat file with all certificates, so it doesn't scale really much. And a uh, few um, certificate authority move to uh, OCSP because it's uh, uh, an API. So uh, the, the client requests just send the, the, the certificate um, serial number and the system return true or false. So it's um, more optimized. Okay, so another view of the protocol with more information in it. Uh, you want the Apache configuration, or I pass on? No. no. Uh, I do it. No, I mean I, uh, I, I pass. Okay. Cool. Um, okay. So if when you install a self-signed certificate. Okay. Uh, 
yourself here we go uh, just I'm doing quickly okay I did uh, I have my own certificate authority at my home because I can do that so why I'm not doing it uh, I just want to learn how it's work so how DigiCert or GoDaddy work to sign my document etc uh, this um, <coughs> tutorial is very not optimized for enterprise purpose because it doesn't scale it's working for me because I can do it oh, just it's, it's a good thing for uh, yeah, it can be a good thing for development, but if you have many people to ask you, ah, oh, can you add this certificate, uh, the expir expiration reminder, you have nothing at all. So you already do every command with the OpenSSL to sign, to do, but you have no reminder. People can can't, you have no web page to developer to ask a new certificate and automatically generate you have nothing at all no. so yeah it can be good for but it's free yeah yeah but the yeah yeah but those two solutions uh, OGBCA uh, and uh, open XPKI it's open source too and you have a fully uh, uh, management interface and uh, a reminder etc uh, I think you have auto renewal too but I'm not sure Oh, but you can generate your certificate with a very far expiration date. Yeah, 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 definitely. But yeah, I, with this solution, you can too. But what what I like with this uh, tutorial or this thing is you doing all by yourself, uh, config file, and you generate file, and every step you know what you are doing. So. I think it's good for learning and for fun. Uh, I'm not go doing it uh, ev everything. Uh, you have a, a, a Docker. I put into uh, the um, the GitHub. You have the Docker to generate everything, so you have a fully uh, self-contained if you want to to do uh, this training. Uh, what I want to show you especially is. Um, you have two say uh, you have two uh, master I'm just gonna go back you have a root authority it's the master say uh, and every everybody works like that I'm gonna show you uh, DJ cert uh, Symantec or anyway you have a root say uh, it's the master to make key or whatever uh, and you have an intermediate intermediary we are intermediate uh, uh, CA, and the root CA generate a, a key, and 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 uh, you your intermediate si is signed by your root CA. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go back. Uh, all those configuration. It's pretty much. Uh, sorry. Okay. That's the concept. You have. The, here the DG cert root CA. This one is supposed to be every time offline because you don't want uh, the private key of this certificate who can be stole. So you shutting down this virtual machine or whatever to be sure it's uh, inaccessible. And everything is generated by the DG uh, cert uh, intermediate C. So come when you ask, and you can have multiple. Example, if you are a corporate, the company, the the, um, the corporate gonna create the root CA, and our department can have his own intermediate CA. And in your browser, so you're gonna have the root CA, and it's like in uh, human chain. So uh, Bob want to trust Peter because Rita trust Peter. Bob gonna trust. 
no chain of relation it's the same thing with the uh, the, the certificate because you trust this one and this one trust this so you have the full chain and you can have a full chain like that whatever the number that's how it, how it works and like I said Godaddy use the same um, structure anyway you have the, the intermediate the roots and intermediate certificate same th same thing for uh, Symantec and that's the, the concept, that's how everybody works. Okay. Uh, just want to see. Okay, so I can go back here. That's why when you set up your web browser, remember I did that. Okay, I'm gonna check. <laughs> uh, okay. That's the full process. So uh CP and check, hello. Uh, the client received the certificate from the website. Uh, he got the issuer into the certificate to check if it's okay. Uh, a look if the, the issuer is in the trusted list. If it's in the trusted list, he trusts the certificate and that's it. He's going to send uh, the pre-master uh, secret key to, to uh, go to the symmetric communication. Okay? If the root CA, uh, the issuer is not directly in the root CA, you're going to extract the certificate intermediate uh, issuer but it must be sent by the, the Apache server that's why when I'm, I don't see it I, ah. Gonna send the certificate, for example, toto. That uh, and there is that come. Here, it's my public key, the certificate I have, the private key, of course, and I'm gonna set SSL CA certificate file with the CA chain. So all intermediate intermediate certificate to give the possibility to the browser to um, go back until the root uh, certificate already set in the browser. Okay. That's why when many people, often you, you forgot this thing and you have an error when you try to communicate because the system is unable to, to, to perform the full chain. So here we go. So we're gonna see if the issuer of the intermediate is trusted. No, so we're gonna look like that and until you're gonna find it and you're gonna trust the, the certificate. Uh, pretty much what I said or tried to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So at this point you said, oh cool, we have a, a root CR and all my communication, if the lock 
uh, is close, it's pretty much secure and I don't have any problem if the lock is locked. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly what's happening. You can say how the switch state is validated, and now it's uh, clicked. But uh, the problem is the, the definition of what you trust. It's not possible to have someone um, just um, TCP dump the data. Sniff, sniff the data. Uh, he, he, he will be unable to uh, to uh, encrypt the data. But uh, it's possible to hijack the communication. If you have a proxy server over there, like CGI does, like some company do. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so and uh, maybe bank company do that. Uh, they use uh, HSM. Uh, I don't what's its the acronym, but uh, they use a HSM. So you have a server over there, you establish a communication with the proxy, and the proxy establish a new connection with the remote server. So the, the google.com sent the certificate, and this server sent another one to your browser. And the issuer of Google.com is a homemade certificate uh, CR, uh, and this root CR is in your trust store. So you're gonna trust this uh, IJAC certificate. Then you have a secure communication between your laptop and the proxy, and the proxy establish a new connection with the Google.com and just forward your data. It's work pretty much, yeah. You can go after that, check your the issuer of google.com on your laptop, on your workstation. You're gonna have the answer. It's, uh, uh, and to increase this data, just, just saying for that, uh, uh, Internet Explorer and Chrome use the Windows uh, Trust Store, and Firefox use his own Trust Store. Uh, that's why uh, if you use Firefox, you're gonna have a problem because um, they don't have they don't have the Trust Store pushed by the GPU. So that's why you have a, a little fuck up between the browser. It's very funny because in French I'm not going so fast. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, just a little part and I'm gonna finish. You have a few tools to help you to uh, analyze if you have a SSL uh, problem. Uh, here it's, um, you can of course use a Wireshark to try to, um, uh, re um, to view the data. Uh, but it's not easy because uh, you have some cipher. Uh, I have uh, a, vi a video about that, oh. to how to do that. Uh, but you you need to have the to be on the same station. So you need to grab the the pre-shared key from the Firefox and put it back into the the Wireshark. Uh, it's working well with HTTPS. For other protocols, it's more complicated. What? Fiddler. Yeah. Fiddler? It's another application? Yes. Okay. Uh, open source? No. It's, no. Uh, it's private. Uh, yeah. Uh, Commercial? Whatever. Uh, huh? Telehead. That's a company? Yes. Okay. I don't know. Uh, uh, but if you want to view uh, with uh, the uh, Open SSL, you can use the option uh, as client and connect and to establish a communication, whatever the port, I uh, use uh, 443. But, and what is very interesting is if you have SSL communication with a uh, few problems, but are you sure you set properly the certificate on the server? That's 
the first thing you need to check. So uh, with Appen SSL, you remove a, a browser, you remove any application, you can give you noise, and just you establish connection, he only perform the tree and shake and pass for the certificate. That's pretty much what I just do. And you have it, you can have put out. And what is interesting, I think you here are just one, but you can set to uh, give me the full chain you extract from the server. So it's gonna be uh, it's a, a really uh, a good thing. Uh, okay, here I have full thing about how to uh, encrypt communication between uh, the browser and uh, the server. So um, I, I did the example with uh, uh, extract the private key from the web server, but uh, I just show I can't encrypt. I explain again, again. Uh, then I said uh, I need to change some something. Oh yeah. Before I start the Firefox, I export the uh, variable SSL key log file, so TM key SSL. Then I start the Firefox browser. And in your Wireshark, you can set, you know, remember the pre master secret key? You said, okay, use this one to encrypt the communication. So the, you're gonna use the private key and the pre master key to. Uh, to retrieve the data, then you have you're gonna have the full data uh, available. Uh, I think it's pretty much that's it. Okay, uh, I did the, the full explain why it doesn't work with the, the specific cipher, etc. Uh, it's uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah, uh, I'm so sorry for the picture, but uh, I found, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, not a graphical, not a result, but uh, I found a, the, a, a good one, a good picture, but uh, it was not open source. I, don't, I didn't put it into my data, so that's why I tried to, to do it again, but it's so ugly. But it doesn't matter. Uh, it's the explanation, what's, how the, um, uh, how it's work and why I can't, if I have the private key of the server, I'm not able to uh, encrypt the data, but honestly, uh, I don't understand. I, I think I understand, but it's not. It's a little bit uh, fuzzy in my head. So I uh, let you read and give you uh, try to understand. Uh, okay, doesn't matter for the rest. It's a uh, more um, uh, wire sharp uh, training than uh, HTTPS. That's it. Was good? Question? No? no? Yeah, go. Yeah, I have a question, but uh, maybe it's not related, but I was thinking, when we are doing the communication between the browser and the Apache, the, the, 